Folks, welcome to Backstage at Bet in partnership with Net Support. Thank you for joining us for the one of two very special episodes we're going to be recording in advance of this year's Bet 2025. I'm Al Kingsley, uh, CEO of Net Sport, Jerobo Multi Academy Trust, and a few other hats. And most importantly, I'm really pleased to have with us Duncan Berry, Portfolio Director at Bet. Duncan, good to see you, sir. Uh, thank you, Al. Very pleased uh, to be here. I'm very excited uh, about this being my run-up to my first bet uh, as somebody working for bets. I've been as a delegate, I've been as an exhibitor before, um, but this is the first time that um, I'm running bets and I'm really excited about it. It's going to be fab and I remember meeting you at last year's bet and um, you were just at that start of that transition and I could see there was both equal measures of, oh my goodness, and can't wait to get started. So it's great to be on that journey with you now. Yeah, very much so. I was, um, I think, three or four weeks uh, before I started then, starting to introduce myself to to, to key people. And um, yeah, I was a little bit daunted. I hadn't been for over a year. Uh, uh, I think, uh, yeah, the scale of it. Uh, I uh, It took me the full three days to get around to every nook and cranny and corner uh, and it's taken me a lot longer to understand everything about bet. Um, and, and, you know, I can appreciate that it can be daunting for other people arriving. There is so much to do, so much to see. Um, so one of the things that we're already working on is making that easier, uh, making it very clear, um, asking the questions when people register in terms of what they're most interested in, what solutions they're looking for, um, what CPD they're after, uh, and just making it easy to access what they need. Yeah, and, and you know what, it shines really brightly because I think for many of us who've been involved in the edtech space for a long, long time, one thing that's been really transparent is rather than coming in with a list of this is what we're changing, you've come in with a list of questions and you've spoken to an awful lot of stakeholders from the education perspective, from the technology perspective, from the CPD perspective. Um, and, and so it, it feels like one of those, you know, this this is bet with a big, you know, capital C for co-production alongside it in terms of really driving those changes, which is super refreshing. And part of the reason why I guess we're here today, Duncan, because we want to signpost some of the big names and people who are going to be speaking, which is all the richer for that CPD at the conference. But I'm also aware you and your team have been super busy and there are lots of changes, some small, some more significant, that are all about trying to make the bet day out and that experience all the more valuable. So without putting you too much on the spot, now what are your highlights that you'd like to share in terms of things we can expect that will be different this year? Yeah, you write the big C for um, cooperation, but a big C for community as, as well. So that's kind of where I started in terms of um, this year is Bet's 40th year. So um, we're trying to look as fabulous at 40 as, as we possibly can. Um, and I've been working with the team on getting everyone to feel that um, we're responsible for this event as custodians, but it's the event is owned by the community uh, and we need to get everybody on side. We need to do the listening. We need to ask the questions uh, and, and make changes. Um, one thing I noticed and having come from a, a startup myself, I thought there was more we could do about the startup zone. So we've relaunched that. that that's bigger. It's it's quite a sort of um, theatre area that we have now. Uh, and they get time on the innovation stage and we're appealing to, to many more investors. We'd love to see that energy and those new ideas coming through in bet and we feel it's a really great platform for them. One of the things I'm particularly excited about is we have a live classroom. So we're building a classroom on the show floor uh, in bet. Uh, we have uh, junior school, secondary school and a special school coming in and teaching lessons and showing how they use tech and a viewing gallery behind. So the products that you can see around the show floor, um, you will get to see them in action and how schools are using them to, 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 to good effect. Um, so very excited about that. Um, we've got a new thing called show and tell. Uh, so this is a little bit Dragon's Den. Uh, it's we sort of recognize that to promote your product on a stage, um, we needed to find something that was um, uh, quicker, um, more affordable uh, and didn't take up 15, 20 minutes, uh, which is a long part of a bet day uh, of uh, educators time. So it is um, uh, eight minutes, uh, three slides 
uh, and, and that's what the vendor gets. That's what the solution provider gets. So people can walk by in the um, live classroom where we'll be hosting these uh, and see new products at pace uh, as well and try and spark new ideas for them. Um, one of the other th things is BET's big assembly. So we recognize more and more uh, children have been coming to the show um, and we want to provide meaningful things for them and for the teachers and the school groups that come. And we know they have to go back to school and report on what they did at BET. Um, first thing on the list is usually we played esports, uh, and that's great. That can always be the first thing on the list. Um, but we're getting our charity partner, Tech She Can, uh, to deliver, and they're very used to this, to deliver a big assembly in the main auditorium. So we're hoping for a thousand plus children uh, to attend BET's big assembly uh, on the Thursday at BET. So lots of things um, as we think more about the specific, specific sort of segments of our audience and the things that are going to appeal to them and what they're looking for from the show. I love it. I and mean, we've always said for years, the more we can get student voice in, intertwined within the BET experience, big thumbs up. And I love what you're doing with the, the startup space in terms of moving that forward. Um, I had the pleasure of um, working with your good selves to, to meet with some small organizations that were part of the startup experience last year. And actually, rather than just assume, actually hear about their journey today and how the BET experience was an accelerator for them, not just for meeting potential customers, but meeting peers and investors and others that have allowed them to fast track their offer. Um, and I think that's something you assume, but it's lovely to kind of hear it firsthand tangibly and see how that's had an impact. Uh, and I think you've got quite a few other zones that will be announced in due course as well, haven't you, to try and to kind of make it more easy to find the right things that you want. Yeah, we recognize that we um, can do more for specific areas um, uh, and, and um, uh, our audience demand that and, and, and we need to deliver on that. Um, so we will have a um, managed services uh, village. Um, so a lot of the managed services providers, it's a specific, uh, very sort of occasional purchase, uh, I, I guess, and it's a very big decision for schools. Um, so we're sort of congregating um, uh, many of the providers in a sort of specific area, which will be highlighted on the floor plan. So if that's one of the big ticket things that you're looking to buy, you know where to go. Um, we're creating a send village as, as well. Um, a lot of people want to focus on that and spend a lot of time in that area. Uh, so, it, yeah, we're trying to make it easy both on the floor plan and by sort of um, coordinating um, some of our best exhibitors, uh, the brightest and shiniest of ideas uh, to come into specific areas um, where people can spend a good portion of their time um, because they've sort of coalesced into a sort of um, big theatre of, of a stand or a big pavilion of a stand. I love it. Uh, I can't claim to 40 years. I've done just over 30 and um, I, every year I'm excited at bet and it's great to see that. Evolution rather than revolution, an easy to say phrase, but you can see how it's adapted over time. Um, for today's show, apart from obviously getting the scoop from you, which really, really appreciate, um, one of the things that really makes that visit all the more interesting at, at BET is the, the, the diversity of speakers talking, either presenting, whether it's a big stage, a small stage, as part of a panel, that's where a lot of the CPD and cross-pollination goes. And so today on our um, Backstage at BET, we're going to be highlighting and introducing a few speakers for our first of two shows. So you can expect folks like Laura McKinnery coming up from um, Teacher Tap. We've got people like Dan Rosenberg, who's been through that journey with um, Linky Things in terms of an evolution of a product. Joe Arde and plenty more are going to be joining on this conversation. Um, and don't forget to tune in because there'll be a second episode where Duncan and I will be introducing some more folks who will be telling you a little bit about what you can expect from them at BET themselves. And as I always try and remember everybody, it's never too late to get your ticket. So if in doubt, don't forget to check the link that will appear in due course below and make sure you follow up. I'm looking forward to today's guests. Um, I'm sure you are as well, Duncan, to hear what they're going to be sharing at, at, at BET this year. And um, on behalf of both of us, look forward to seeing you and enjoy the rest of the show. My name is Laura McInerney. I'm the CEO of TeachTap and the host of the BET Arena. What educators and leaders get out of coming to BET is visiting a place of wonder, 
not only do you get to do all the normal things of going to see experts speak, go to workshops, learn from others, but if you've ever thought to yourself, how on earth are they doing this with that technology? Then BET is the place to come because you are bound to find somebody who will know the answer, see some cutting edge technology and go away with great inspirational ideas for your school. I'll be hosting the Arena Theatre for three fantastic jam-packed days of expert speaking, policymakers sharing their ideas, and also looking at that history of the 40 years of BET, because it is an anniversary year, it's extra special, so we'll be looking back at the past, the present, and thinking about what is the future of technology and where are we all going. Hi there, uh, my name's Matt. I'm the Community and Education Lead at Digital, and we are a charity who focus on developing educational and digital skills for young people, including programming, digital literacy, and IT. And I'm really excited to be at BET this year running a Tech User Labs session. In our session, we're going to be using microbits. Hopefully you've heard of them. They're small physical uh, computing devices, which lots of students use at Key Stage 2 and Key Stage 3. Um, and they're absolutely amazing devices. They allow you to engage with the world around you, learn programming, find out about sensors, inputs and outputs. So we're going to be running a session based on coding for climate action, which is where we will be showing you how you can use a micro bit to create and develop what we call early warning systems using the sensors on the micro bits to monitor the environment around you and decide if there's a chance of something like a wildfire or an earthquake or a flood or something like that. So we will be introducing you to some preliminary um, ideas around how you can use micro bits in those ways, uh, which is a great way to uh, enliven programming, give it a meaningful context and um, help bring uh, programming and digital skills to life. I'm really looking forward to BET this year. Hopefully you are too. Um, as somebody who's been a computing teacher for over 10 years, BET is unmissable. Um, I'd strongly recommend you um, meet as many people as possible, speak to as many stores as possible. Everything from looking at forthcoming textbooks to playing about with micro bits or speaking to the Google and Amazon teams. There's a wealth of information and expertise for you to draw upon. Um, and loads of networking to do. And it's just a great day out. So hopefully I'll see you there uh, and hopefully see you at my session. Hi, my name is Joe Arde. I am a computer science teacher and I'm also a BET UK advisory board member for the next couple of years. The um, reason why I come to BET, I come to BET to find out about the latest events in you know, computer science or in technology, actually, in education technology. So at the moment, artificial intelligence is such a big thing in regards to generative AI and how it can save educators time you know, with lesson planning, marking, how to support student learning as well. So for me, just finding about the latest technologies, you know, such so as I mentioned, you know, esports, you know, and how they can help my students. In terms of what I personally get up at, the opportunity to connect with, obviously, colleagues that I've worked with for a number of years, obviously, to make connections with you colleagues, and also to just find out what is going on within the education landscape in regards to technology and how that could be used within my current role as a computer science teacher. And the reason why I've joined the BET Advisor Board is something, one of the things I've always wanted to do, you know, I've come to BET for many years as a teacher and an educator, and the opportunity to contribute to the Advisor Board in terms of, you know, ensuring that, you know, the Advisor Board, you know, helps make the, you know, better UK event diverse to, you know, young people, to educators from all walks of life, and, you know, to sort of essentially sort of, you know, support you know, BET's mission in bringing the best educa um, education technologists around together to make a difference to the education system. I mean, obviously for myself, we could be a science, but for all subjects within the, the national curriculum. Hi, I'm Dan Rosenberg, co-founder and CEO of Linky Thinks. And in January 2025, I'll be attending BET in London. Now, what could both educators and startups both possibly get from attending BET in January? Well, I think a variety of different things, if I'm honest. Educators, teachers, they're not just going to be sold to, they're going to get access to some of the world's most recent and innovative educational content, products, tech, 
a huge smorgasbord of different things from hardware to software to just ideas as well as talks as well as inspirational panels it really is quite exciting now from the perspective of a startup founder it's just as exciting because you get access to all of what i've just mentioned but from the perspective of someone who's actually trying to create something new and put it out into the world so you get to see these ideas from all these different people in your industry who you might not get to meet when you're so heavily focused on your one thing that you're creating that you can't see the wood for all the trees going to bet almost can expand your view on what's possible within the world of education Hi everyone, uh, my name is Natalia ingabretson kochirkova I work at the International Center for EdTech Impact and at the University of Stavanger as a research professor with interest in EdTech. And I'm very excited about the panel we have forthcoming at the BET 2025 show. We'll be talking about the importance of certifications in EdTech, uh, what they signal for quality, how different stakeholders feel about them and how they go about obtaining them. So we will have on the panel ISTI, UNICEF, Kahoot, and European EdTech Alliance. All these different constituents will be sharing their perspectives on certifications, evaluation frameworks, and how we can work together as an ecosystem of um, EdTech quality. So I look forward to the session and I hope that you can join us. Well, I hope you found that interesting. I certainly did. Really looking forward to seeing you at BET 2025. There's plenty to get you to uh, come and visit from innovation, advice, solutions, and plenty more. Duncan, final words rightly should go to you. Um, how are you feeling about the event? Looking forward to it. And what can people listening do to make sure they don't miss out on the fun? Obviously, I'm nervous. Uh, my first bet but hugely excited with the lineup that we've got, the changes that we've made, um, our 40th birthday. It's going to be a great celebration. Um, all of the CPD is accredited. So teachers, good time to get out of the classroom. Um, all educators come for free. So no better post-Christmas present than registering for BET. I look forward to seeing everyone there.